Logan Paul loses 3.5 million after purchasing fake Pokemon cards. This was an article that I saw. People were guessing that the cards that he bought were fake because he bought six base set first edition booster packs. So let's watch this video because Logan Paul actually, he's been keeping quiet, but not anymore. Are these the packs? This doesn't even look real. No, don't tell me there were G.I. Joe cards inside. Don't tell me you spent 3.5 million on G.I. Joe cards. Is this a joke? Is it in here? December 2021. The is in here. We're sitting in the vicinity of 11 first edition base set Pokemon boxes. This, this will probably never happen again. He released this photo to Twitter. Just dropped three and a half million on the sealed and authenticated box of first edition Pokemon cards. This was the most anybody had ever spent on Pokemon cards ever. I'm gonna right. tell you why I don't trust the case, the contents or the authentication. There's oh, so people were actually trying to analyze it way beforehand. Logan Paul spent $3.5 million on Pokemon cards that are probably fake. Wasn't verified back then, but everyone just saw from this picture and they were like, it's probably fake. That is extremely hard to verify. And the original seller, at least as far as we can trace back, doesn't, it doesn't add up. You know why I trust him? Because he's got a Team Rocket hat on. You really need to go to a reputable seller. Otherwise, how on earth are you going to know that it's authentic? Because these cards are decades old. Authentication. There is enough sketchy stuff going on about the origin of this box. Logan Paul may have spent the 3.5 million on fake Pokemon cards. This news has now reached Logan Paul and it seems like he's taking this very seriously. He's going to fly to Chicago and sit down with BBCE to verify the validity of this box. Oh wow. So he went to a Pokemon authenticator to find out if it's authentic. He flew all- can you imagine spending 3.5 million dollars? Your cards are fake, you don't know it, but people online are saying that they're fake, so you're like, shoot, I gotta go to Chicago. Quick context, this is Matt. He's one of the biggest sports card collectors in the world, and he bought the Pokemon case for 2.7 million. He then sold it to me for 3.5 million, but he's become a close friend, and I could trust that he'd refund me if things went wrong. Right. We, the guys from BBCE who authenticated it are here to basically stamp their authentication. If this is fake, we're, in, we're all in trouble because it shoot. looks so good. There's first edition packs in there, we're, we're gold. BBCE is the person that stamped the authentication stamp all over this pack. The problem is once you buy something off somebody, that person doesn't open it and then they sell it to someone else. That person doesn't open it. They sell it to somebody else. It's changed through so many different people, so many different hands. How do you know if everything that's inside there is, is real or not? If you don't open it, one of those people along the chain could have opened it up, resealed it, and then sold it again. And then been like, oh, I got it from this person. Oh, I got it from this person. You're from BBC. Yes, I'm the owner. Yep. You're the owner of BBC. Yep. And you authenticated this. Yes. Me and Michael are going to go over when it came to my office that day, what I looked for. And then we're going to speak back and forth about why okay. we like the seal. Worth I'm intrigued by this. If the outside of this case had been tampered with, played with, reproduced in any way. You can right. see in this piece of seal that was put on there by Wizards of the Coast that right. this tape is aged onto this case. This label too. Okay, so right now they're just authenticating it based on the box itself. Based on the seals on the box. Not the cards, not what's inside the box, but the box themselves. This label too. The same embedded lines of the cardboard from age mm -hmm. are in that label. There's no evidence of tampering. It might be real. Or is it? Oh my yes! god. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Motherfucker. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay so the box a good sign. So the boxes are real. That's what they're saying. What? Why are they so puffy? Why are they so puffy though? They the color looks different. They don't look right. They don't, they don't look right. Yeah. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. They don't seem Uh oh. See how see how they're, they're, they're like they're curvy and pop. You see this? I've bought fake Pokemon cards before on purpose, on purpose obviously. You can, you can get fake Pokemon cards on Etsy. You can get fake Pokemon cards on Etsy. I bought a bunch of fake Pokemon cards on Etsy. You can get them off of AliExpress. Opening a fake XY Evolutions box. I bought 3 boxes. I went through the similarities and how they look different and how the colors are always different. Because they're made like in these, you know, these terrible places, you know. But looks like Logan Paul might have a fate set here. The color is light. The colors aren't the same. They don't use the same ink. They don't use the same quality. You know, get some more wine, Logan. Get some more. Oh, yeah, he's got the wine. 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, why is it bending like that? Why is it bending like that? What's inside? Oh, yo, that that's made out of paper mache. See, that's the problem. They authenticated the box on the outside, not the contents on the inside. Here's the thing. They were like, oh, the seal. If the seal is broken from the package or if it's damaged, then you know that's fake. Maybe they faked it back in 1999 and sealed it. <laughs> oh no. I want to see what's inside. Are they Yu-Gi-Oh cards? It'll be hilarious if they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, they open up, open it one more. Look how bad the co look how bad the colors are, bro. Look how bad the colors are. They're not even close. If they had just cracked this box, it would have been so easy to tell that it's fake. Why didn't they do that? Like they sold it double sealed. You don't need to. Do you could sell the boxes individually and make so much money if it's real. Pokey Rev, I follow Pokey Rev. I remember buying ten thousand dollar box and being upset, but this is three point five million. I can't imagine. He's opening up a fake oh set. My oh my oh! god! Oh! Oh! Can you imagine spending three point five million dollars on Pokemon cards and it's GI Joe? This is the best video I've ever seen. This is the best video uh, I've ever seen. GI Joe, GI Joe, Joe, GI Joe. I want that as a soundbite. I can't help but laugh. GI Joe. GI Joe. It could have been anything else. I know. Yu-Gi-Oh! Digimon. It, it, it could have been Magic the Gathering. It could have been literally anything. But open up a GI Joe pack. It could be good. We all got duped. Agreed. So how on earth did it go through so many people and nobody thought to open this box? This is the people that authenticated it based on stickers. Stickers. They were like, these stickers look legit. You can see the striation marks here. It's old. It, it isn't new. It's not curved. You can see the ink is aged. You can see the tape hasn't been tampered with. You, sir, messed up. And then even this other guy, this guy here, the guy that bought it, he messed up. Everybody messed up, but it's tough. You know, you can't, you can't really tell. Especially when you're so excited about something like this. I don't know. Jacob knew it was. That's where it gets. Who's that's Jacob? Where I'm at, right? There's Who's Jacob? Be a whole other process that goes into this. This is this is. I would have never purchased this if it wasn't BBC Rap. We only buy it because of that. But because of that, I felt confident it was legit. It was good. I'm yeah. I would be confident. This is what GI Joe cards look like. Four dollars. <laughs> GI Joe. Oh my god. Yo, Logan, send me those G.I. Joe cards. I need them. Please. I got to DM Logan Paul. I'll be like, Logan, send me those G.I. Joe cards. I'll give you $3.5 million. I'm a super positive person, <laughs> And I'll always be the one to look at the bright side. And I'm trying, but this is very hard. It's just so sad for all parties involved. It's sad for the Pokemon community. Like, how, how many fraudulent things are out there so many um, i'm grateful for the things that i have that are real now i'm literally like i'm picturing my charizard in my head oh my god holy sh so, like something real something worth it. a lot of is it is real first is gi joe in the I back from, <laughs> i just went from 11 first edition boxes right to five no yeah to five you still have five that's still good we got it end of story Fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe is there! I, Logan, I feel bad. I feel bad, 100%. But what on earth were you expecting buying an unopened booster crate with six different first edition boxes that have been unverified other than the tape? Imagine verifying something based on tape. Yeah, the tape looks pretty good. You know, it looks at the striation marks. This tape looks amazing. I think I think it's legit. Scammed. But right. here's the thing. While well, a lot of tension is going to be on Matt, on Logan Paul, the, the, the other guy that they showcased that, like, his story didn't add up. The people possibly most heavily hit from this is going to be the BBC E. You exactly. You something and it turned out to be a fraud. Which is why exactly. we saw the BBC E post on their Twitter account today. In March 2021, we were asked to provide our good faith opinion and verify that the Pokemon case had not been previously opened or tampered with. We evaluated it and in our opinion, the case was in its original state. This past Saturday, we opened that case to verify our opinion and we're extremely disappointed to learn it was inauthentic. We have authenticated tens of thousands of sealed card products for nearly 20 years. 
tens and thousands of sealed card products for 20 years. And you, this is the biggest mess up I've ever seen. The only thing I have to say is... G.I. Joe! <laughs>